yeah what's up my guys so we're gonna run deep down into this top 10 analysis you know so exactly the way i used to tell you guys hmm, i hope you understand i want you to pay attention because um we're gonna analyze this market now and this thing we are gonna call it the way to trade the trend line and we're gonna add a little bit of bollinger band on this thing you understand but pay attention okay pay good attention to this you see i always love to use the usdj for the for a good example if you guys notice we've been following this for so long and what we've seen is this overall sorry this in this overall condition is going up we got no choice but to believe this is going up but now i'm gonna help you guys okay i'm gonna help you guys i'm gonna give you a tip a very simple one to believe if this is going up on my own simple trend line analysis which i will had bollinger band later but let us make it like um i'm gonna add uh, a, a line okay i love to use the weekly chart for everything but we've seen the top of the weekly chart which represent the one to five levels mm -hmm. okay nice we've seen we've seen another levels which we're gonna put the line we've seen the low here which represent the 102 level yep okay that's the overall picture of this thing okay uh we've seen something which i don't like to uh, dive too much mm. we've seen something like you know a real a real classic breakout of this type of you know trend line a triangle breakout here yes that's what we got from the weekly chart of the uj now I, i'm gonna bring it out from the weekly chart that this is traveling this way okay pay attention to this thing it's very simple this is traveling in the in this channel the weekly yes now what i'm gonna do to make it simple and i'm very clear is to remove these lines then you will understand that this yellow and this green is the end of the goal it's the highest high the weekly ever made then we're going up man you know this is a simple trend line analysis but now i'm gonna add a a, a kind of classic bollinger band let's see I'm going to add a classic Bollinger Band. Let's see how it goes. Okay. Um, let's go to the low screen. Short view. Then we go pull up this Bollinger Band, which I don't even know yet on this weekly. What is the size of this Bollinger Band we're going to use? We're still on the 20. I believe the 20 is the best you see it fits all time frames that's it <laughs> oh, no problem yeah it fits all time frame as you can see the bb going up okay then if there's any little thing i'm gonna do for you now but that if you understand this um the weekly the biggest of all time frame is going up now you need to go and find your own lower chart lower time frame which mine is the h1 okay. mine is the h1 okay but what am i gonna go do inside that h1 is i need something to tell me when to buy into this market because i want to only buy i don't like to be selling when the big chart is going up i want to focus on the buy on the uj 